and said, let the king tell his servants the dream. And we will show the interpretation of it. The king answered and said, I know of certainty that ye would gain the time because ye see the thing is gone for me. But in the night verse, but if ye will not make known unto me the dream, there is but one decree for you. For ye have prepared lying and corrupt words to speak before me till the time be I till the time be changed. Therefore tell me the dream, and I shall know that ye can show me the interpretation thereof. The Chaldeans answered before the king and said, There is not a man upon the earth that can show the king's matter. Therefore, there is no king, lord, nor ruler that adds such things as any magician or astrologer or Chaldean. And it is a rare thing that the king requires and there is none other than can show it before the king, except the gods, plural, whose dwelling is not with flesh. For this cause, the king was angry and very furious and commanded to destroy all the wise men of Babylon. And the decree went forth that the wise men should be slain, and they sought Daniel and his fellows to be slain. Then Daniel answered with counsel and wisdom to Ariok, the captain of the king's guard, which was gone forth to slay the wise men of Babylon. He answered and said to Ariok, the, cap, the king's captain, why is the decree so hasty from the king? Then Ariok made the thing known to Daniel. Then Daniel went in and desired of the king that he would give him time and that he would show the king the interpretation. Then Daniel went to his house and made the thing known to Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, his companions, that they would desire the mercies of the God of heaven. Concerning this secret, somebody say this secret. This secret that Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Then was the secret, somebody say the secret, the secret, revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changes the times and the seasons. He removed kings and set up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise, and knowledge to them that know understanding. He revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth with him. I thank thee and praise thee, O thou God of my father, oh, and has made known unto me now what we desired of thee, for thou hast now made known unto us the king's matter. Therefore, Daniel went in unto Ariok, whom the king had ordained to destroy the wise men of Babylon. He went and said thus unto him, Destroy not the wise men of Babylon. Bring me in before the king, and I will show unto the king the interpretation. Then Ariok brought in Daniel before the king in haste and said thus unto him, I have found a man of the captives of Judah right. that will make known unto the king the interpretation. The king answered and said to Daniel, whose name was Belteshazzar, art thou able to make known unto me the dream which I have seen and the interpretation thereof? Daniel answered in the presence of the king and said, the secret, somebody say the secret, the secret. which the king has demanded cannot the wise men, the astrologers, the magicians, the soothsayers show unto the king. But there is a God in heaven. Who puts right down my spine right there, right there. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There is a God in heaven. What shall be in the
in the latter days. Thy dream and the visions of thy hit upon thy bitter beads. Now before I get to, begin to disclose that, the title of the message you can guess by now, The Secret of God. The Secret All right. of God. All right. Yeah. Before Praise I get on the secret, amen, of God. Right. Now the reason for this message is called The Secret of God. I was praying in the spirit, asking God to give me what he wanted me to speak. He told me to speak on the secret. Later on, he told me where to go. Go to the book of Daniel. Amen. Amen. And he began to show me how that when you seek the face of God, God himself will reveal yes. secrets. That's right. And then all through the book of Daniel, he revealed his secrets. And it was more imperative that he was able to discern and interpret and divine the secret. Because his life, it was four major things. One thing was that his life depended on it. Yes. God, that yes. Amen. Amen. Not just his life, but the life of his fellows and that his those who were following him in the prophetic move of God. Amen. And to those four who could not divine were the magicians, the sorcerers, the astrologers, or the Chaldeans. The world does not know the secret. The show doesn't. They, I said the world does not know the secret. They, they think know. they know, but they don't know the they secret. Don't know. When I was living at my old address, amen, one day, Dr. Dixon, I told you I received a book in the mail. Yes. I said I received a big black book in the mail. Never ordered it. I'm a providence of God. I never ordered it. I began, and it was sealed. I had to um, take stuff to open the book. I told you about the book. Remember, Dr. Dixon? Get rid of it. He said, get rid of it. I said, should I mail it back? He mm -hmm. said, throw it out. Get rid of it. That's right. I threw it in the trash can. And one thing it said, it said, this type of book is given to all types of millionaires that there's ever been, people of prominence, mm -hmm. people of wealth. They mentioned some names. If, if I drop some names, do some name dropping, you would know. And they said, you're found among these people. You need to give us, you need to take heed to this book and read this book. And it wasn't the book called The Secret that Oprah Women talks about. No. It's another book about the secret. The Lord said, throw it out. That's right. Amen. And right away I thought, I should throw it out. I don't know where it came from, but I know it wasn't sent from God. No, it wasn't. Has anybody ever received that book? Devilish. It wasn't from a ministry. It didn't come from any ministry that I bring up that we know in the faith movement of God. And so I said, if it wasn't built up on the word of God, I'm throwing it away. I threw it away. And I began to fast. I began to seek the face of God. And God let me know there's a love affair that we have with him. I love that I have a love affair with God. Something that people don't understand. And then God is my father and God is my Lord. Hallelujah. He's my husband. And because of that, I've adopted God to watch him for all eternity over all of my affairs. Yes. Yes. And so when my mother was going through a, a, a physical thing in her body, I had a choice. I could keep working my day-to-day -day job or take care of my mother. All right. All right. Amen. When Minister Vanessa was talking about her work of retirement, I did that work since I was 18, off and on, while working at the school board. And the Lord said, put on your, your time uh, uh, a release to go take care of my mom. And I said, but Lord, my house is all this do. He said, I got you. Hallelujah. Yes, he did. And for all those years, I didn't go shut down. He took care of my house till I saw the did he back. Yes, he did. He took care of my house. Yes. For those seven yes. years, he put it at the back of my mortgage.
thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. So this God, but there is a God in heaven yeah. that revealeth secrets. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. I get emotional talking about my God. All right. Amen. He said, but All there right. is a God in heaven that revealeth secrets. Yes. 29 says, as for thee, O king, now this is the revealing. Thy thoughts came into thy mind upon thy bed, what should come to pass hereafter. And he that revealeth secrets maketh known to thee what shall come to pass. But as for me, this secret is not revealed to me for any wisdom that I have more than any living, but for their sakes yes, that yes. shall make known the interpretation to the king. And that thou mightest know the thoughts of thine heart. Now, what is this? I just want to set up my lesson in the first verse, going backwards, just to the first verse. It says, and in the second year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar dreamed dreams. Right. He was a dreamer. Hallelujah. Wherefore, his spirit was troubled and his sleep break from him. You know, he probably tossing and turning in his sleep. Amen. And the king commanded to call the magicians and the astrologers and the sorcerers and the Chaldeans to sh- for to show the king his dream. So they came and stood before the king. And the king said unto them, I have dreamed a dream. And they could not matter, understand the dream. But so now, let me bring it up to speed a little further. Who were the wise men? Somebody said, who were the wise men? Because after all, these are the ones that they were expecting to know, amen, what the dream, of, what, what the king had dreamt. And so I did some study, amen, from the Shabbat library. It says, Daniel and the three men that followed after Daniel's ministry, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, amen, depo- deported, the, the Nebuchadnezzar had those men deported the Jewish, he had deported the Jewish in, the, in intelligentsia and forced them to relocate to Babylon. Among them were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah from the tribe of Judah, all extraordinary gifted young princesses selected to serve as chamberlains in the royal court under the tutelage of the chief officer Daniel, who was already an accomplished scholar, achieved remarkable, who had achieved remarkable proficiency and expertise in many disciplines, along with his three colleagues, their insight and erudition in all areas, especially in the realm of mystical and esoteric knowledge, far outshone those of the other wise men of the kingdom. According to the Talmud, Daniel was endowed with an incredible gift, yes. amen, of wisdom. All that right. such a, that if one were to weigh his wisdom against the wisdom of all the other wise men, n- none of the Gentile nations or the wisdom of, of the world, Daniel would outweigh them all. Yes, he did. Amen. And, and the source, amen, again, I told you came from the Shabbat Library. So what I wanted to say is the secret, amen, that Daniel had, amen, God gave to Daniel. He didn't go to a man. No, he didn't. He didn't go to the internet. All right. He went to God. Hallelujah. Amen. And he went to his friend. He said, now let's pray. Right. Amen. Yes. So let's go back to the word. And so it says, down at the, at the 31st verse. Thou, O king, sawest and behold a great image. This great image, whose brightness was excellent, stood before thee, and the form thereof was terrible. This image head was of fine gold, his breast and his arms of silver, his belly and his thighs as of brass, his legs of iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay. Thou sawest till that a stone was cut out of or cut out without hands, which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay, and break them to pieces. Then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver, and the gold broken to pieces together, and became like the shaft of the summer threshing floor. And the wind carried them away, that no place was found for them. And the stone that smote the image became a great mountain. Yes, it did. And filled the whole earth. This is the dream. And he and we will tell the interpretation thereof before the king. Thou, O king, are a king of kings, for the God of heaven hath given thee a kingdom, power and strength and glory. Yes. And wheresoever the children of men dwell, the bees of the field and the fowls of the heaven have given he him, have, have he given into thine hand, and has made thee 
ruler over them, over them all. Thou art this head of gold. Yes, he was. And after thee shall arise another kingdom inferior to thee, and another third kingdom of brass, which shall bear rule over all the earth. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong. All right, praise the Lord. The fourth kingdom shall be strong. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Just lost my place. Glory to God. Verse 40. Thank you. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron. For as much as iron breaketh in peace, and to do all things, and as iron that breaketh all these, shall it break in pieces and bruise. And whereas thou sawest the feet and the toes, part of the part is clay and part of iron. The kingdom shall be divided, but there shall be in it of the strength and of the iron, for as much as thou saw the iron mixed with miry clay. And as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. Okay. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave to one another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. Did y'all see that? It says, 43. no, yeah, we're reading it. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. Amen. 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 I can talk about that. I'm not going to go there right now because I got a lot else to share, but that's for a later day. And some of y'all that study eschatology, Dr. Nolan, you, you might know some of those highlights. If you had a mental highlight marker in your mind, you, you put a line through that. Amen. But they shall not cleave to one another. Mm -hmm. And I'll just mention Thor. Give you a hint. Thor, <laughs> Thor, Thor. You got a hint there. Amen. Even as iron is not mixed with clay, and in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Yes. For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands, and that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold, the great God had made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter. And the dream is certain, and the interpretation thereof sure. Okay. In other words, you can bang on it. <laughs> this probably said, I'm bad, I know I'm bad. And what I said is true, you just take it to the bank and it won't bounce. <laughs> okay. Okay. That prophet was a man of God. Amen. Yes. 46. Now, here we go. The king, then the king never changed the fell upon his face. This is the king that was putting out wood cookies about killing everybody, cutting them in pieces, and making houses in the dunghill. Yep. He fell upon his face hard after the prophet made his appearance. And this is what he said. And worship Daniel and commanded that they should offer an oblation and sweet orders unto him. They worship the God of Daniel. The king answered unto Daniel and said of a truth. It is that your God is a God of God. Yes. And a Lord of kings. Yes. And a revealer of secrets. Yes. And as seeing thou couldest reveal this secret. Now, you know that there's some little witches out there <laughs> and, and warlocks out there, yeah. but there is a God in heaven. Uh, that's Hallelujah. Right. Lord, they call your bluffs. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. And then there is a God in heaven. Yes. It says, then the king made Daniel a great man and gave him many great gifts yes. and made him ruler over the whole providence of yes. Babylon. And the and chief of the governors over all the wise men of Babylon. Then Daniel requested of the king, and he said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, his 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 buddies, Amen, over the affairs and of the providence of Babylon. But Daniel himself sat in the gate of the king. Yes. Right. He's just like I'm the president, you the vice president. All right. <laughs> he had it going on. Amen. Now let's talk about this. Amen. Let's talk about this going to the word. I'm not going to a thousand scriptures today. Amen. Amen. And I thank you. Praise God. I'm not going to a thousand of scriptures. But what we have here, praise God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. In the word itself, we have, amen, the secret revealed. We have the interpretation revealed. And then the reward comes. 
Amen. But in the midst of revealing the secret, there was a lot of eschatological uh, words in the lesson. Uh, the mingling of the clay, amen, with the uh, with the with the uh, with, with the seed, the seed of man, amen. Glory to God, Hallelujah. We know that, amen. That's one highlight I was mentioning to you, but I want to go further, amen. So we see that Daniel was able to describe the successive kingdoms that would overcome and dominate the then civilized world, including the Median, Persian, Greek, Roman empires, with the coup. Also, all Babylon. Yes. Amen. And Babylon is kind of pretty much a spirit that has been erected till even today. Right. Amen. A lot of the false god of worshiping, we got uh, abortion. We got other things that's part of Babylon worship. Oh, yeah. You take that back in the Bible, you find the god of Molech. Yeah. Amen. That's Babylon worship. Amen. Yeah. Some people say, Was well, it Sarah? I'm Democrat. Oh, I'm Republican, and that's what we believe in. Well, okay, that's what you believe in. If you go back to the Bible, that's called Molech worship. Amen. Amen. When soon as uh, a Pharaoh's son, his firstborn died, he put him on that God. So, oh, great God. Uh, amen. He called him to resurrect his son, and he found out that that stone figure didn't resurrect nothing. That's right. <laughs> you made it with your hands, that's as far as it got. Right. <laughs> it didn't do no power. It didn't do oh, nothing. Okay. No amen. No, no power but God. Amen. The okay. true living thing. Even Pharaoh at the end, that's all those ten miracles. And then he came at the end of the Red Sea. He found out truly Moses is God. Is God. That's right. Amen. Right. He found out how bad the God of Moses was. Okay. And so we found out that there were five, amen, planet alignments in heaven on June the 24th. Yeah. And now I see why. Elder Nolan, why God had me wait till today. I mean, only not last Sunday, but today. Or Sunday before last, but today. Everything was strategic and how God does things. Amen. Amen. And he knew I needed to speak today. Minister Brenda, amen. amen. And they can say all this goes together. When I tell you what God all shared with me, you say, okay, now nah, that makes sense. Right. And so there had to be an alignment. Amen. And even before the alignment, God had to give me a word. Amen. What were the five planets? Amen. We know Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Yeah. Amen. Had to come forth. And in a minute, we're going to break out what that means. We're going to break it out what that means. Right. Amen. A word from God. Amen. God gave to me on the 22nd of June when we was over on vacation. God gave me a word. Man, the word of the Lord spoke. God, he has spoken to me while I, my mom and I were vacation. Was this. God said, I'm about to reveal to you what I'm about to do. Before I do it, my Lord. Amen. The, I'm talking about the God of secrets. Yes. Right. I'm about to reveal to you what I'm about to do before I do it. And I didn't even tell my mother. And if I say it today, and I am going to say it, some of y'all may say, girl, you stupid. God already done that. <laughs> I'm just a vessel. Amen. 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 I'm going to speak what thou said the Lord. Amen. Amen. It's up to God. I'm going to show you that little shot. I know I've been serving God, I know I've been worshiping God. And whatever God told me to say, that's what I would say. He said, he, he said, I am about to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh, yeah. My mind. Ooh. My mind. I didn't uh, let that drop. My mind. I'm about to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. And what happened this morning, Dr. Dixon? You told me God gave you a word early this morning. Yep. You yep. want to forget everything I'm done? Or? I'll wait till you're done. You see, if we ain't shared, I ain't shared her, my oh, nose with her. Man. She ain't shared it till. After we both prayed, and that's when she shared it with me. And then I, I still didn't tell her this yet, because God didn't release me to tell it yet. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing Unless he reveals it until he first revealed it to his servants the prophets. The prophets. Yeah. Amen. That's the old ancient word. His word has not changed. Amen. All right. His word has not changed. Amen. If I go back and give you a count, of the word that he gave me when I was even out of state, I was in Atlanta, Georgia, and I told a prophet, I said, we don't move out this house before such such time, <clears throat> the house is gonna be condemned. Did they tear down their house? Yes, sure did. Did you go with me down to Atlanta? I saw it. Was it there? Nope. He called me when they were pending on tearing it down. He said they want to use it for the remaining to extend the church parking lot. They tore it down, and that's all they got there now is a parking lot, and I told them that. I told them some other things that happened, and it happened. 
When God tells a prophet God what he's about to do, he's going to do what he said he's going to do. Amen. God don't short, how he don't short smell of a shot. He don't come short on his word. Hallelujah. He said, according to the signs of the stars and the heavens, we have to acknowledge three of the Hebraic feasts. One feast is the booth of tabernacles. Yes. On the 15th day, is, is noted on the 15th day of the seventh month in the Jewish calendar. And then the second feast, the feast of unleavened bread on the 15th day of the first month of the Jewish calendar. And then the feast of the harvest Pentecost on the 15th day of the third month of, on the Jewish calendar. And these all come and coincide with the full moon. And we know that we've been seeing a rope, a, 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 a consecutive line of dates of full moons, but only on these days does it really matter. Why does it matter, Prophet Now? It matters because if we're talking about the Lord's soon return. Yes. The Lord is angry. The Bible says he's angry with the wicked every day. Amen. Amen. Another identifier of the Lord's soon return, we need to research and take note of the fact that Jesus had a miracle that he performed in the book of St. John 21 and 11. He talks about 153 fish. Yes, yes. Why did they write that down? 153 fish. You do the research. I'll be here all day if I give you my research. Mm -hmm. This is another indicator of the rapture coming alongside with the five planet alignments. And lastly, with the word the Lord gave me that he's about to put upon Sodom and Gomorrah. You see what this is not? Uh, if I go back to that part of the world, geographically speaking, Sodom and Gomorrah is gone. Oh, that's right. Geographically. Geographically, that's it. Okay. What about the spirit? All right. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Can you geographically tell me Babylon? Babylon now is a spirit. Yes. Amen. Revelation 22 and 16 says, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Jesus has put stars in the heaven for us to witness that he is coming. That's right. Daniel 12 and 4 says, but thou, Daniel, the one that knows it says, but there is a God in heaven. There's a God in heaven. Ooh. Hallelujah. He had a keen ear to hear and a keen eye to see what God was saying. He said, but old Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, My even God. to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. This is another sign that God keeps his word what he, that he is coming. Amen. There's nothing that stays the same. He keeps increasing, increasing knowledge. Yes. Now, I've always been a person that loves to look up at nature. I love to see the birds. I love to see the trees, the grass, the flowers. But more than that, I love to see what's happening in the stars. If you look at Israel, one thing that Israel, Israel, excuse me, Israel is noted for is how they always look for a sign. A sign in the sky. Every time there's a moon, especially a full moon, it's another sign. A sign of what? Of the return of the Messiah. Yes. And I can say it in Hebrew, Mashiach. 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 Thank you, Lord. Mashiach. That's Amen. Right. Pisces is one of those signs. Yes. I'm not talking about astrology. I'm talking about astronomy. Yes. And if you look up that word, it's a different word, which means only the research and study of that which is in the heavens. Yes. Right. Amen. But God in the book of Job talks about the Leviathan. Yes. Talks about Aries, Pisces. Yes, yes, it's in your Bible. Yes, it's right. in your Bible. Not your sign. I'm not a witch. I'm a prophet. That's right. Not your sign, God's right. 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 God's sign. And what sign do I have? What's your night? What day were you born on? No. Signs follow me. My Bible says. Right. Everybody else want to tell you signs follow me. I'm not telling you what my birthday is. Just know signs follow me. Yeah, and then right. Pisces means, according to the Bible, Christian. That's right. Jupiter means the people of the book from Revelations. Where is it, Sarah? Revelations 12, verses 1 through 5. Wow. Revelation 12, verses 1 through 5. And then Mars means the red planet. And guess what it's called? The Phaethon. Oh. Meaning the red dragon. All right. Some people say, well, China is a red dragon. Now, that's another form. 
but according to what's in the heaven, amen, Mars represents the red dragon. And then Venus. Venus means Jesus, the bright and morning star. <laughs> Aries. What is Aries? Aries means Tala, the lamb. The lamb of God. The lamb of God. Blessed takes away the sins of the world. And then Taurus. What is that? Christ, the judge. In the last day, he's not coming back as the little lamb to the world. He's coming back as the judge for the world. Amen. Amen. Sagittarius, what is that? It means Jesus, the rider on the war, on the white horse. He's coming on the white horse. Come on. And on his side is written the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Scorpio, what is that? Means the Antichrist. Antichrist. From which the tribe of Dan shall come. Study Dan. Dan is not mentioned in the end. No. Amen. It's one of the tribes that worship Jesus. Amen. So the Antichrist is going to come from the tribe of Dan. Moon, the moon up in the sky, is another representation of the Messiah. Hallelujah. And Virgo means the virgin. Now, if I go on, and I don't have time to do it, we can take time and talk about how Jews read from right to left. If you look in the sky, this astronomy is designed from right to left. If you go in reverse, back to 3 B.C., the time of 3 B.C., you see the play of the planets also in alignment, given the story of Christ, the bright star, is born from a virgin. Bright and morning star. The bright and morning star. Come on, somebody. I'm not making this up. Do your research. That's right. right. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. First Corinthians 15. Amen. 51 through 55 says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. Yes, yes. Twilight is when you can see the stars in the twinkling of an eye. Amen. At the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, the chauffeur. Yes. But that's you brother talked about it. Uh -huh. The trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For, in, for corruptible must put on incorruption, That's right. and this world must put on immortality. Hallelujah. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Glory. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Yes. Hallelujah! Glory to God. And you may close the book. Hallelujah. 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 All I want to say, saints, we win. Hallelujah. We win. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Man is not a point unto death. Amen. We're not a point unto wrath. But we're a point we're appointed to be raptured up, saints. Come on, amen. Jesus coming back. Amen. Without it, shut up. He came back, amen. Not in a baby in a crib. He's coming back in a glorious Yeah, yeah. yeah.
But you don't have to be politically correct because you're not from this kingdom anyway. Come on now. Come on, Dr. You're a citizen of another kingdom. That's right, that's right. And it's not Republican, it's not Democrat, it's not independent, it's not liberty. Amen. It's not a constitution. Yes, yes, God. Our preamble, our constitution is the word of God. The word of God. Come on and shout glory.
Sunday in another way. But every day, 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 every so keep that, Lord, that we commit unto you against that day. When temptation comes, you said there's no temptation taking man with that which is common unto him. But God is faithful. And he'll make a way for you to escape. You don't have to go to hell for adultery. You don't have to go to hell because you, you got the cave help us. It's because the blood, the blood. Everybody say the blood. The blood that Jesus said. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God, may tell me meet again. Remember the joy of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Is your strength. Amen. Be blessed. All right. Amen. Somebody shout glory. Glory. glory.